what exactly are you doing? Now, I also have different colors. I think the top essential colors for faux leather is definitely black off top, and then like a brown and like a cognac tan color. If you can get your hands on those three colors, you are set for the faux leather. If you can't get all three, definitely go for the black. You cannot go wrong with black. You need it in your wardrobe for sure. Okay, next up is definitely essential for me is a oversized cardigan. I love my cardigans. I have so many, but my absolute favorite uh, style is oversized. I love anything oversized in the fall and winter. I like to be comfy. Um, I told y'all the cold is uncomfortable for me. So <laughs> when the weather's uncomfortable, my clothes have to be comfy, okay? And I like stuff that I can like feel like I'm snuggled up in and like a blanket or something like that. So oversized is always a go for me and definitely an oversized cardigan. Like I have so many and so many colors. Like the color really doesn't matter for me. Um, but I like to stick to like the browns, the tans. Um, my favorite one that I have is like a sweater material and it's like a, I don't know, it's like a burnt orange with a little, like a brown, burnt orange type of mixture. It is my absolute favorite and my go-to. Um, you definitely need a black one. Like all of the stuff I'm mentioning, you need black. You need the basics, okay? Basics are essential to any wardrobe. And when people will say they never have nothing to wear, nine times out of 10, they don't have enough basics. So basics are essential, but definitely, uh, you can have fun with cardigans, you can get colorful ones, whatever, like, again, but you definitely need an oversized cardigan in your wardrobe. Put on an oversized cardigan, a nice little tank, some leggings, and some boots, and you got an outfit. Like, so simple. So simple. Okay, the next essential for me is a blazer. You gotta have a good nice blazer um the color really don't matter but usually in the fall you stick to the browns the blacks the neutral colors but um we are getting into some color in the fall and winter now so um definitely can have like a green a orange um a red a red is a good color in the fall as well so it really doesn't really matter the color you just need to have a good blazer like a staple again you can dress it down you can dress it up it just you can wear it so many different places from church to the office to dinner just endless okay so i definitely definitely love to have a good blazer in the fall and winter like you just can't go wrong actually Blazers year round, but um, I tend to grab, of course, my blazers more in the colder months because it's colder. Um, but definitely, definitely an essential. Like, you gotta have it. No negotiable. Non negotiable. You got to have a Next, one of my favorites, another essential <sighs> sweatsuits. Sweatsuit and hoodies. Oh my gosh. Like, I live in the fall of winter. I have so many, like, sweatpants, uh, sweatshirts, and hoodies. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to wear them when it gets colder. Like, I'd be sad to put them away when it gets in the hotter months because I just absolutely love them. Outfits are endless. Like, dress it up dress it down of course um just so many great things like um when i'm flying i'm always cold so um it's even worse in the cooler months so having a hoodie on having sweatpants on with some long nike socks is my um, jordan ones or my 11s or um phone runners like whatever Ugh live for it running errands every day um during the holidays around family 
just chilling in the house, always got to have me a sweatshirt on. Like, always, always, always. I absolutely love them. Like, I have so many. Um, I really only stick to, again, the basic colors, black, um, tan, brown, gray. Um, I think I do have some red sweatpants, but I don't have, like, a hoodie to go with it, but... Up, like I just love it like gotta have it cannot live without my sweatpants and my sweatshirt it's just non-negotiable got to have it next let's talk about hats I am a hat girl okay I love my hats I love my ball caps I love my fedoras those are really like the main ones I do like beanies as well but my fedoras and my ball caps gotta have it. got to have it. Um, it's just I don't know why I'm a hat person. Like I've always been there. I wear a hat year around, but I've always been a hat person. Like I feel like fedoras is a part of my personal style. I you can catch me in a fedora like at any time. Like I feel like filming they kind of get in the way with filming, so I don't really wear them a lot when I film, but outside of filming if i'm going out somewhere you can catch me in a fedora like i have so many outfits where i've worn fedoras like they're this i again i feel like they're part of my personal style i just think they just make any outfit even better like it just elevates it to another level and i just have to have them ball caps with my hoodie and my like my sweatsuit my hoodie and a bob cap with a uh a, a coat please please kill it off all day they are so essential for streetwear and i wear a lot of streetwear during the fall and winter so my bob caps gotta have them got to have them and they don't have to be name brand it don't really matter to me as long as they cute and they fit my head cute yeah i'm with it i'm with it so hats essential you gotta have your fedora at least a black one one with a pop of color a tan one um i have so many colors like so many and i want so many more every time i see a fedora i feel like i gotta have it like i don't care how many i have i have to have a new fedora like i just have to so hats fedoras ball caps absolutely essential. next let's get into some footwear um definitely an essential is combat boots boots in general but more specifically combat boots and like cute booties okay like you cannot get through the following without combat boots and a black man like they gotta be black uh, they can have like gold or silver um on it but they gotta be black i i just feel like it's an essential other colors cool but the black combat boot, you got to have it. You got to. It's just no way around it. I'm sorry. You got to have it. And then, like, the booties. Like, I don't know. I'm a big calf girl. Like, my legs are big. So, over-the-knee boots, just 9 times out of 10, don't work for me. I have one pair of over-the-knee boots that fit me. And I've had them for years because I'm the only one that fit. Like, I just cannot... I can't get boots to fit over my calves, so I just don't even try. So I stick to like the booties, and I just feel like they just they just complement me so much better. They just look better because I'm short already, so I feel like over the knee boots kind of like take away from my like I don't know. It just made me look shorter, so I don't really do them a lot. The booties, I got a lot of cute little ankle boots. You call them booties? I don't know if that's like the common term, but anyway ankle boots so yes definitely 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 gotta have to come back next we're gonna go back to clothes a little bit but gotta have a jacket and a good coat okay jackets you guys know are shirts that are mm, too thick to be a jacket but not thick enough to be a, I mean, too thick to be a shirt, but not as thick enough to be a jacket. They look like a shirt and a jacket 
you know what I'm saying. So, listen, these are so popular. They look great. I absolutely love the jacket. Um, I get new ones every year. I don't need them, but I, I, I need them. They're essential. So, uh, let me tell you, H&M has some of the best jackets ever. Like, other places are getting you know, to start to carry them as well. But H&M, you can always count on H&M to have a fun jacket. So whenever I want a jacket, that's the first place I go is H&M because they're guaranteed to have a really nice one. So jackets for sure. So many ways you can wear it. Dress it up, dress it down. I've said it many times before. It's just essential to your fall wardrobe. Like, if you don't have a jacket, what are you doing with your life? Okay? They have them on Amazon. Amazon has one that's really, really popular. I'll link it below um, for you to check it out. And anything that um, I feel like um, you guys may want or I can find, I will link uh, links below so you can check it out and purchase whatever you want to purchase from my essentials list. But yes, jackets and then jackets, like a cute, like long coat. What, what, what would you call it? Like a trench or like a long coat? I don't know. Like a coat jacket. I don't know how to describe it. Again, I'll put pictures on the screen of what I'm talking about. But this is why I say fall and winter fashion. Like, if you can't really tell if somebody can dress for real in the fall and winter because it's too easy, okay? It's so easy to look good in the fall. Put you on some pants or some leggings, a shirt, and throw on a nice jacket with some boots, and you look good, okay? I don't trust people that dress well in the uh, fall only. I mean, you can't really dress, it's too easy. The real test is people that dress in the spring and the summer. That's who really got it. That's who really got it. Fall and winter is too easy. It's just, you throw on a jacket, you look good. You didn't put no effort into it. You throw on some boots, you look good, okay? <laughs> you look like you tried. Throw on a fedora hat, you look like you did something when you did, okay? We love it, but still, that don't make you dress, all right? So, <laughs> I'm just saying, that's just my two cents. Don't, don't shoot the message. I'm just saying, that's what I think. But yes, you gotta invest in a good jacket. However you want it, whatever color you want, whatever style, whether you want a shorter jacket, longer jacket, it's really up to you and learning your body and your silhouette, but, and what works best for you, but you guys. So guys, uh, my camera cut off, so, I'm gonna just hopefully get back into this. Um, but, so this particular essential is a new essential for me. I didn't always have this in my essential. I think they're coming back in style and I jumped on the bandwagon and I just had to get on it and I fell in love. So they have made their way to my essentials and that is Bomber Vest and Bomber Jacket. Oh my God. Now, actually, I don't have a bomber jacket. Um, I just have the vest, but I want a bomber jacket now that I am in love with the vest. They are so nice. I got this really nice um, Bottega Green vest, bomber vest from H&M last year. Absolutely love it. Oh, it made me fall in love with it. It's so simple and cute when you just want to be casual but cute but like you know you want to look like you did something you put on all black i put on all black with a turtleneck some black leggings and some um boots or whatever and throw on that green bomber vest what look good girl i was looking good and i absolutely love it and so i'm just like it's an essential now like Every year I got to have these bomber vests and I got to get me a bomber jacket. So, yes, bomber vests are amazing. You can wear it with them with hoodies. You can wear it with sweatshirts. Looks so good for your casual street style vibe. 
Yes. Chef's kiss. Everything. Okay, yeah, we almost done. But I got a few more. But another essential is sunglasses. Okay? And specifically like big black sun sunglasses, like big frame and black sunglasses. Yes. Most people don't tend to wear a lot of sunglasses in the fall, but I think they are essential year round. An uh, outfit is not complete without a pair of sunglasses. Who told y'all that? Who told y'all that your outfit was complete and you ain't got no sunglasses? Who said it? Point me in a direction, because they're wrong. You gotta have sunglasses for every outfit. It's just, it's just a rule. It's just a thing. I, listen, if I don't have sunglasses for my fit, it just ain't right. So sunglasses is essential even in the winter and fall, fall and winter months. You gotta have it. So, I mean, I'm not into colorful sunglasses, but if that's your thing, by all means do that. But for me, gotta have the big oversized frame black glasses. It's so chic, so just everything. And it goes with everything and that's just amazing. So get you a pair, okay? And look good. This month. Next up is essential for me is chunky sneakers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Chunky sneakers have been the vibe for the last couple of years. I thought they were gonna die out, but they are not dying out. I I don't honestly care if they die out. I love them and I'm going to keep them in my wardrobe. They are now in a essential for me. I have a pair that I absolutely love from Steve Madden. When I say these are my favorite shoes and they're getting older and I need to replace them because they're kind of getting a little dirty, but I just cannot, I can't get rid of them. Like they're just so good. I get so many compliments on them shoes. Still to this day, they're like three years old and I love them. A chunky sneaker, with some long, like scrunchy socks and a cute outfit, like streetwear, some leggings. <laughs> it's just a vibe. I can see myself now with my Starbucks cup going uh, Christmas shopping <sighs> with my chunky sneakers, my um, scrunchy socks with my black, um, all black on and a puff vest with my sunglasses and my hair pulled back with my Starbucks cup. Tell me I ain't cute. Tell me I ain't cute. And why too lot? Oh my God. Y'all, it's essential. Like I need a chunky pair of sneakers. And really when it comes to the chunky pair of sneakers, I really don't like a whole bunch of color. I really like them black because then they just look like bobos. But like a tan or a brown or like, you know, that like cream color. Yeah, that's me. Or white. I'll do white too. Gotta have a chunky sneakers, y'all. Got to have them. I'm sorry. It's an essential. You need it. You need it. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna end with the chunky sweaters. I love a good chunky sweater with the big turtleneck. What is it called? Like a cow neck? Turtleneck situation, oversized. I absolutely love that. Um, I have a few of them. I have one like a really bright green one. Like, I mean, highlighter, lime green one. That one was really in like, what, four or five, year, four or five years ago? <laughs> if you can remember, but I have a black one from H&M that I absolutely love as well. It is a staple in my wardrobe and I just think it is so, so, so nice and chic and it's easy to dress up and you can just look so put together and just be so, but simple as well. Like, um, you don't have to accessorize too much because the, the um, cow neck or the open oversized is of the sweater does all the talking. It is the statement. It is the drama. And I love pieces like that. You guys know I've talked about that all the time. I love statement piece clothing because 
you don't have to do much else just let the statement do the talking and yeah i just think it's amazing um i love it i look forward to getting me some more um i haven't done a lot of fall shopping i have done some but yes i'm definitely on the look for like a really nice oversized chunky sweater i think you throw on some leggings with it and some boots a fedora and you just good to go so easy okay guys thank you so much for tuning into this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i felt like i did a whole bunch of talking but um uh, i really love these type of videos um i feel like fall is that girl when it comes to fashion i absolutely love fall fashion and um I have to admit it's my favorite time to get dressed up, <laughs> to wear clothes, um, because it's just I love I love the vibe of fall when it comes to fashion. It's just it's just everything. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my fall fashion essentials. Please let me know down in the comments what was your favorite. Do you have the same favorites as me? Um, let me know. Let's chat about it in the comment section. I would love to hear what your fall um, fashion essentials are. And let's just have a conversation in the comments. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, um, comment, subscribe, and share this video with everyone you know. Um, until next time, guys. Bye.